All right, y'all, welcome to the team day, our field day. Not everybody could be here, but I do want to welcome two new team members, Joe and Taylor. Thanks so much for being here. We're excited to have you. We're going to eat. We're going to play some games. We're going to fish and hang out today. Hey, where the f is the food? I'm right here. No, for everybody. Um, what? You were supposed to bring the food for everybody. For what email? <laughs> for our conversation. <laughs> That's pretty. I saw that post that you put up. You really uh, are really close to Ronnie, aren't you? You look on Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Listen, no, we, look. we respect that. <laughs> no, look, so what happened is I saw a post. Ronnie posted two houses and a baby because he yeah. had a baby, so I have a second niece. And I thought it was such a great post. So I was like, oh, I want to share that. So the other night, I was laying in bed. It's like 11 30 and i got a notification patrick o'connor shared your post so i look and there it is on patrick's story on instagram and it's my post from earlier in the day and there's a heart around my picture and i went to bed and i said to myself wow patrick must really love me the next morning my sister is like isn't it a little weird that he shared my post with the heart around it and i said wait that was your post because i thought patrick just did the heart around me because he really likes me. And Ronnie, I think he's crushed because he thought I did it. But... And it turns out he just screenshotted my wife's post and posted it on his story, not realizing there was a heart around me. So it was a roller coaster of emotion for me because I had the high note of, oh, Patrick really likes me, and then realizing what had just really happened. I knew today was about the team and bonding at the park and having a fun time, but I also realized this is a great opportunity to pick up some potential clients. So I have my Ronnie the Realtor dog biscuits, and then my wife made me these little bread houses. So when I'm feeding the ducks, if anybody comes up to me and says, hey, how's your day going? I'm like, oh, I'm feeding the ducks. And I got these little houses. Why do you have houses? I'm a realtor. Are you interested in buying or selling? Okay, we have two teams, team buyers, team sellers. The goal here is to create a vessel to keep an egg safe. You have to use all of the supplies given to you. You have 20 minutes. I will be going back and forth, moderating, making sure everybody is playing by the rules. And then at the end of the 20 minutes, we're gonna take your vessels and I'm gonna throw them off of this thing right here. And the team that saves their egg wins a prize sound good i'm not sure why i drove two hours to play these silly games but i need to get back to charleston this is your egg <laughs> at any time if your egg breaks you're gonna lose points i'm gonna judge this you're gonna out of a hundred and seven the only thing i really want to do with an egg is throw it at lolly's face but conveniently she's not here from zero to 107. okay 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 107 is kind of a weird number. Stop asking questions. Ready? Go. Call it working woman. <laughs> and creative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're very creative. I'm on the men's team. Should we first wrap the egg in duct tape? I think. Or feathers. I mean, if you rack feathers it in place. enough duct tape, you won't know if it cracks. True. It's, it'll leak out. Philly, we're not going to use all this stuff. There's no way. Let's just know. win the game. Do me a favor. Take all this. Just make it disappear. <laughs> just make it disappear. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Go for it. my hat. Oh. <laughs> just go put it behind the tree. Shh. So um, I'd never seen Patrick in a hat before, and we had a team get together at his house, and I was walking up to the door, and I saw him through the window, and I didn't know it was him. I couldn't figure out who it was, and then when I got to the steps, I realized it was Patrick, 
So I started making fun of his hat and then looked down and realized that the ring doorbell was recording me. So is that a new hat? Should we use that box? Number one, we're already done. We've been done for 20 minutes. Are they still working down there? Take your time. We're good. Hey, we already finished. Honestly, you guys just stop because you're not going to beat us. There's no point in you guys continuing. You're not going to win. I mean, all I'm saying is you're saying you're almost done, and I see a bunch of stuff on the table. So. Seven minutes! What guy get out of here? He said use every, like... Doesn't matter how it looks if it breaks. It might not be the prettiest, but it might work. Hey, it looks like Patrick's helping them down there. You can help them all they want. They need help. That's cheating. This thing's a winner right here. So first of all, first impressions and deductions. This is ugly. Your hat is ugly. Shut up. This is ugly. We're out of 107. I'm deducting seven points just for the ugliness. And because 700 brings us to 100. Now, wait a second, Allie. And that's an easy number for me to figure out. Philly. What? I saw what you did, and you hid supplies behind the tree. You also lose seven points. We're both at 100. Team? Yes. Do you understand? Oh. Everybody <laughs> understand? Are we all good? Okay. Remember, the object <laughs> is that we do not want the egg to break. Right. Okay. Ready? Steady. That was a good fall. All right, let's check it out. You might need the scissors. Why don't you go get them? I got it. You know you hit it, right? That didn't even look like a real egg. Was that a real egg? Yeah, it's a real egg. It's just like the cheap, white, engineered egg. Well, obvious. Tells you what kind of eggs I've been buying. Bear, you know, this is not an $8. They are cage eggs. Tells you I've been buying $9 a dozen eggs. No, it's, it's together. It's together? It's together. All right. Good job, yes! Guys. All right. You all got 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay. Next one up. Allie, this is for you. So since I screwed with the points, it wasn't really fair what we're going to do to break the tie. We'll say it's a tie. Everybody got 100. Nice Woo! job, except for Allie. Here's what we're going to do to break the tie. Tug of war. Buyers versus sellers. Good? You're going down. Oh, I've got All right. the band on my All right. Yeah, that's not fair. Unfair advantage. All right, then. We have a rope. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So since Forrest forgot the food, we're here.